Welcome back, folks, to trying to figure out this coordinate. Now, I've just been staring at it, and I'm bad, you know, at these things. But every row uses all nine numbers. Like, main stage would use the three numbers that are missing from here and here. So, if we're, if we're going to go through that, I'm a, we have 8, 9, 1, 3, 2, 4, and now you're looking at 5, 6, and 7. Maybe some combination of 5, 6, and 7 is what works. Um, let's just... Oh. Okay. Have you ever had a moment where a, let's just say a random event or a puzzle, you know, just makes you feel like the biggest idiot in the world? Anyway, we've, we've got it now, or now we've got it, now let's hack this son of a glitch. I don't know why I keep changing that dude's voice, oh no. Thanks, game. Hack it. How? How do I do that? You need to get to the main frames. Of... I'm not doing his voice right now. You need to get to the main frames database. You'll be fine. Just avoid the firewalls. Or the elves. So I go up. What? Where am I? Oh, okay. So I go here. Up. Does he turn back around? Down, down, left, 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 left. Oh, can I use a keyboard? Oh, okay, I can. Good. Ooh. I was about to say, I think I did something. Did I did it wrong. I just did it wrong again. Okay, so I have to wait till... Nope. Okay. I just did it wrong again. Turn, turn, go, 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 there, 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 there. Just did it again. Okay. Right, so I need to wait. Let's see if the pattern changes any. Ah, I just need to go straight. Got you. I didn't need to stop. All right, so we're going. Up, and then that one. I did not mean to hit right. I meant to hit left. That's okay, I did it anyway. <laughs> okay. Huh. So it stops. Okay, so I have to watch the top. Because they turn. Alright, it's need to be... Oh! He eventually goes down. Okay, so now we go... Okay, we made it. I'm in! <laughs> I'm in! 
Hacker speak. So, now what? I guess we look for something useful. I never thought this far ahead, to be honest. Um. Oh, we can, like, make the screens go by? Would you haunt this house? It is a great resource for fetterless ghosts. Everything is fine. All is as it should be. My honorable opponent says everything is fine in not America, but I say everything would be more fine if underwater. He is surrounded by fire. There is no fire underwater. Only the sweet cold and dark embrace of the deep. Vote Kraken. Is your home on fire? Is the number one source for all fires happening in your house news? Is your home on fire? Let's find out. Yes. Hurrah! Wait, Lou. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot of channels. That's that dude. I don't want to click the wrong channel. Oh, upload button? Oh, okay. Agent McScream? I know that guy. We're friends. Tell us, Agent. Does your difficult task in the Brightside Division leave you much time for friends? What is a friend but a liability? A drain on one's time and focus. A dangerous thing in any job. We're more work friends. What about work friends, at least? No. Oh. Awkward. Are you a celebrity is a favorite of mine. The question on everybody's lips, are you a celebrity? Eh, uh, no, I'm not. There you have it, viewers. Another citizen interviewed, another celebrity, not yet discovered. Quality viewing. Gray box, blue box is a show in which a lady points at the boxes and tells you whether they are gray or blue. Sounds good. What? No, it doesn't. It sounds rubbish. It is, however, oddly very good. Moonball is a lot like your American football, but with less oxygen, gravity, or surviving. Topless Man Dances is one of the most popular shows here. It's on every hour of the day. You can tell he's getting really tired in more recent seasons, though. <laughs> Topless Man Dancing. How to Fight a Turkey is the most viewed PSA broadcast. Looks like a video of Pox and Shingles arguing. Oh, but the viewing numbers are falling, Shingles. We have, a, we have to do something. I, I know that, but kidnapping humans and making them run gauntlet in places of, in place of Darksider seems it's just too much, brother. I don't need your permission. Maybe I'll do it anyway. I won't allow it. You won't have a choice. This is the stuff. We have him now. Let's upload it. When asked on his predecessor's whereabouts, new mayor Jonathan Blackteeth pointed to a glowing door and said, She's over there. Have you seen this monster? He's wanted for questioning by the government. Well, I'll be. From the producers of Aeroplane, Jungle, Cloud Combat, and Sky Occurrences comes Action Plane, the thrilling story of a man, his plane, and the land-based organization trying to keep them apart. Being forcefully projected into your dreams this spring. Have you seen this shape? It's one of our it's, it's one of our favorites. Aw, oh, what a cute little fella. The sock puppet strangler is wanted for 14 murders. If you see him, you are advised to stay away. He is armed and dangerous. Get it? <laughs> armed? Because he's a puppet and has an arm in him. See? <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> anyway. He's an extremely dangerous individual and should be avoided at all costs. Alright, so do I... Do I click this one? Now do we upload? We found the video. Let's upload it to the main feed. 
So much of what you say means nothing to me, yet also sounds meaningless. I read a dummy's guide to hackology, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I really don't know, but I think I do. Oh great, more... more pox. He's killing me, man. He's killing me. Alright. They've gone off the grid, but we'll find them soon, fans. Where could they have got? What? What is this? But the viewing numbers are okay. I've read all this. I don't. I don't want to read it again. It's a, somebody cut the feed. Oh, it's the teleporter. I told you I don't need your permission. I've already built it. Captured the first run of humans. You've gone too far, Pox. Send them home and let's get back to tonight's show. And maybe I'll send you back instead. What? I'm not from there. You can't send me back. I know that. I was being... Oh, what's the word? Dramatic. Yes, dramatic! Thanks. That would have annoyed me for ages. Anyway, enjoy the human world, shingles. <laughs> no. It, it's not what it looks like. Pox. Mummy. Oh dear. Pox the Clown, did you put your brother through an interdimensional wormhole again? Yes, Mummy. Sorry, Mummy. Oh, you naughty boy. I don't care what it takes. Get him back this instant. <sighs> yes, Mummy. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry for everything. <laughs> no hard feelings. Very hard feelings, actually. But whatever. <laughs> Holding on to grudges gives you wrinkles. Now, if I send you home, can I have my brother back? Sure. He hasn't done anything or wrong, I guess. A nice one. Well, <laughs> get ready to be teleported. Wait, mystery man. I never got your name. Oh, it's... Rex Me... <laughs> Rex Me King... Oh, gosh. They're gone. Yeah, sorry. I want my brother back in time for dinner, or else Mummy won't throw a pie in my face for dessert. Rex is Latin for king. Your name means King the King. That's stupid. Oh. Well, then you twist it, and the lock should pop right off. Useful information to know, to own. So that's what I was doing wrong. Good to know if I'm to live in this life of crime. And the best bit is that crime's not even illegal here. I'm sure that's... I mean, I'm really not sure. Maybe that's true? <laughs> hey, Dilly! Ah, don't sneak up on me like that, detective! Shingles, you're free to go. Really? I'm a free man? Yes! I can taste it on the air! I hope being inside didn't change me too much. I hope I can uh, re-acclimatize -accl to life on the outside. Acclimatize, that's the word. You were there for like a half hour. Time moves differently on the inside. Before you go, one last I have one last question. If you're innocent of the teleporting and were sent here against your will, why didn't you pop into his existence shouting, It's me, Shingles! Oh, uh, that's like my catchphrase. You know, it's me, Shingles, yay, that sort of thing. Mommy says, Mommy always said you gotta make a good first impression. Anyway, time for me to go. See you clowns in the future. Well... That's a problem fixed. Thank goodness, I'm pooped. You're pooped? You weren't... 
Let us hear it for Officer Dooley, who saved the day. Hip hip, etc. I couldn't have done it without your help, Detective. Come on, let's get some lunch. Sure. Oh, hey, do you remember helping a guy in the, in the city where you were over there? Detective, if I had a dime for every guy I saved in a city, I'd have no idea how much money I'd have because I'd have lost my wallet on the way over here. Also unrelated, lunch is on you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, let's get out of here. Can Tam get out to you? Afraid not, Tam. According to Section 44B.3, Paragraph X, Stealing a kid's candy is a worse crime than teleporting a load of citizens out and making them run a spooky gauntlet. Tam thinks that's oddly specific and unbalanced by law. But the law is the law. It is, Tam. It is. Case closed. And fun enough, I, we do have time to start the next one, but... I need to uh, get another drink real quick. Give me just a moment. All right, we're good to go for our next case. Case five out of six so far, it seems. Royal Fumble. Let's uh, take a look. Dewey wanted me to meet him at a wrestling event in town. The EU. Or the EU. Start investigation. Let's do it! Twin Lake Stadium. Ew. Well, this is where Dooley told me to meet him. Whatever he wants to show me. Better go look for him. We have tickets, posters, signs, merch merchant. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll ask about everything. Or look. Upcoming events. You presents Mage in a Cave. Is this like the Wizarding Wrestling something? <laughs> you oh, the entertaining world of wonderful wrestling. <laughs> you have your ticket. What more do you want from me? I was just going to ask if you saw my friend. He's usually dressed like a cop. I ain't seen nobody dressed like a cop. Did you see somebody who was a cop then? No. Then why did you say like then and not just like? Like or just like? This has become a confusing and weirdly labored moment. Yeah, just gonna go find my friend. There's everything on here from t-shirts to other t-shirts. Hey, give me a break. Diversifying merch is tough. A lot of places have minimum orders, and I don't want to be left with a bedroom full of 500 neoprene beer holders with EU printed on them. EU isn't exactly the most appealing thing to have on the side of your drink, you know. Okay, so that's... Want a used towel? It's got 100% legitimate wrestler sweat on it. Ugh, no, who would want that? Hey, that's my biggest earner. Bought some 3D glasses. It makes you feel like the fight is happening right before your eyes. But the fight happens here. Dude, they're free. Do you want them or not? We've got 3D glasses. What does the third D even stand for? Want to buy some merchandise? Eh? Eh? No thanks. I spent my last bit of cash getting in here. Oh, you're going to regret that in three to five puzzles. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, thanks for that. So we'll head towards the ring, I guess. They make cocktails here? Those liars lure you in with that. Then they try to sell you merch for the questionably drunken sexist wrestler Manhattan. Oh, hey, there's Sally. Hey, Sally. Enter lounge. The bar brawl. No brawling, please. Detective, I'm surprised to see you here. I'm surprised you're here, too. Oh, I never miss a chance to watch oiled-up men fight in their pants. 
That explains some of the stuff I hear about the parties you throw. Parties you throw and don't invite me to. Sorry, Detective. They're for select friends. You're right, though. I should throw something vanilla and bring you along. Vani- Oh, the next match is starting. Kill him! Peel his face off! His entire actual face! Okay. I'm here to support my favorite wrestler, Ricky Redhand. He slapped so many people that his hands swelled up and went all red. Horrible infection. Had to have it removed. My absolute hero. Make love, not war. I misunderstood the nature of this gathering when I was making my sign. So we can go to the ring or the uh, the lounge. Um, let's go to the... So, I just happened to look at the signs back here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. It's about to get goofy up in here. Okay. It's a little it's a little goofy in here. It seems to be showing an even lower resolution version of the ring. Oh there, Barky. This is a sports bar, not a Ren Fair. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I got carried away. That's because you're small and easy to pick up. Look at me. I never get carried away. Fair, fair enough. We have protein shakes on tap. Red flavor, blue flavor, and purple over there. What are the actual flavors? Strawberry, blueberry, and grape? Red, blue, and purple, like I said. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's just for when fights spill into the lounge and the wrestlers need something to brain one another off. Photos of wrestlers here. One of them is a bit loose. Okay. Smooth. <laughs> Lounging Lou. Thanks. I want my moves to be as velvety as well. Velvet, I guess. Ha! <laughs> nice and easy for jamming along to. You are too beautiful. Girl I saw alone at the bar. Alone on the bar on purpose. You are too beautiful, girl. I saw alone at the bar on purpose. Wait for a man like me to come along. No, that's not. Shh, baby girl. Ralphie's singing you a song. Oh. Okay. Well, now I feel underdressed. <laughs> I'm overdressed, I admit it. But hey, I want to make an impression on my all-time fave wrestler. See, I want an autograph from Jippin, Jiff, Jiff, Jippin, Jiffin, Jiffin, that person. She's astounding, but I'm not that kind of guy to beg. My plan, when she sees my razzmatazz and swagger, she'll come up to me looking for my autograph. I'll offer to swap and, hey presto, I've got it. That's certainly a plan. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to practicing. <laughs> you go, Travolta. You go. Um, drink shelf. What a top. What top shelf stuff do you have? You got. We call them top rope, not top shelf. It's thematic. I see. Very good. Well, what top sh top rope stuff do you have? No idea. Neck muscles are too thick. I can't turn my head to look. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, look, I didn't pay for lounge access to listen to you sing. I just want to watch the match in peace. <laughs> You're so funny. Hey, let me play you a song about how funny, good-looking, and overall great you are. Uh, oh yeah, I already said the ho there barkeep thing. 
Oh, he ain't said the smooth. So I think we've seen everything. It's time to uh, to go to the main area where I know what we're going to see. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that is that Dooley in the ring? So we have a what's well, this a photograph of a picture of Jipian stolen from a wall. Oh, we have Dick Brickman's. That's one of what's one hell of a jumbotron. Is there such a thing as a non jumbo jumbotron? Just a regular old Tron? Shorts, shorts, sports, shorts, sports, shorts. You seem to be screaming along with the text on the screen. We have the manager, the overgiver, the referee, and Dooley, and the color commentator and the main commentator. Get out of the way, Jabroni. I can't see through you. What's this Jabroni's deal? Walking around the place, thinking he's made of glass. Look, all these guys are railing on each other. I'd buy that for a dollar. Jeez, it all comes down to cash with you in the end, doesn't it? It comes down to cash when everyone is in the end. Everyone's got a price. In the end, I know how to read. Are you his manager? <laughs> Who? El Dulio? El Dulio doesn't have a manager. He has a free bird. Or at the very least, a reasonably priced dragon. So you manage the other guy? Nah. So who do you manage? Why are you here? I just like giving pep talks to whoever needs them. For example, you got this, detective. I believe in you. Thanks. I feel more ready to take on the world. You're welcome. Now go get him, tiger. Yes, I see you, Dooley, or El Dulio. I will uh, talk to you in a second. No, not again. I can't. I, I won't keep on losing. Tap out if you want to call it, kid. I'm not a kid. I'm the overgiver, and I'm not done for yet. <laughs> Dooley, is that you? <laughs> it looks like El Dulio has his foe on the ropes. El Dulio? Surrender now, mi amigo, and El Dulio shall show you leniency. Uh, no. I won't be defeated. Not again. Not today. Today is my day to shine. Whammo, blammo, thank you, mammo. Uh, what? <laughs> What's going on? A wild sidekick has appeared. Looks like the ref is getting involved. Two on one, no fair. Match postponed until El Dulio has a partner. <laughs> Get whoever you like, El Dulio. You can't defeat my partner straight from the ninth squared circle of hell. Of heel. Sorry. <laughs> See you for the match later, El Luzio. I do not approve of this last-minute, ill-prepared, demonic appearance. Somebody could get hurt. And who could get hurt? What will Dooley have to say? Who will end up being his partner? Gee, I wonder. But we'll find out next time when we come back. Till then, you all take care. And of course, have a good one.